Hi, my name's Rick. I'm from Delaware. Um, this is a update on my uh, basement aquaponics system. Uh, there's been some uh, changes since, since my original system, and I thought I'd point them out so everybody can see. As you can see down here, there's the barrel. I've switched from the barrel design into a 55-gallon tank. I just think it's uh, it's better for the fish. As you can see right there, there's uh, about 12 bluegills in there, and they seem to be a lot happier in this 55-gallon tank than they did in that drum. Some of the other changes, um, I changed out the light fixture. This is a more intense bright light. I might end up going with a, a couple more. Um, this, you know, my, most of this hasn't really changed from the original system. Um, plants seem to be getting a little bit better nutrients now. Uh, I haven't overloaded it. The system's been running for about roughly about three weeks now. Some of the other changes, of course, is uh, how it's piped up. Comes down to 90 now. Come across here. And I uh, swung a 90 on a 45, and it's supported on the frame of the 55. You need that support because uh, this chamber here gets a little bit heavy because it's all filled with water. Plus, uh, if you saw my first video, there's uh, 16 rings, actually discs, that I cut out of uh, like a home heating material. And uh, you could probably use scrub pads in there if you wanted to. And this is my biological chamber. I actually have a piece of polyfill that I cut out in the disc up front here. And that takes care of most of the, the heavy debris if it passes through. And I have another polyfill roughly right here on the bottom of this. And that actually polishes the water so it comes back pretty clean. As you can see, these guys seem to be doing pretty good. It's uh, roughly, I guess, about 10 o'clock at night right now, and uh, this definitely gives them uh, sufficient light, and uh, I think they're a lot happier than they were in, in the closed barrel type of design. And like I said with the bluegill, I've got them eating this uh, krill. They seem to be doing pretty good on that. I'll drop a couple pieces in there and see if they're hungry. And we'll drop it right into the top here. And let's see. The little guys are starting to pick on it. And there goes a the big boy. Tearing it up. Got a soldier fly experiment going on outside, but it might still be just a little bit cool here in Delaware for soldier flies. Well, that's uh, the update on the system. Um, I think I'm going to run it like this for a while. Maybe if my funds improve, I might end up uh, investing in some better lighting. But for right now, it seems to be doing the trick. Alright, if you have any questions, just email me or uh, message me on uh, YouTube. Thanks.